I think the next topic that we've got coming up now is how to create an ongoing dynamic where wise people can share their thoughts, where wise, shy people can share their thoughts. So really looking at how can we get the conversation going where people who may be at home can then start connecting with the world. So obviously it's something like this, the Kitchen Table TV is a good way of doing it. So I think we're going to feed back to Brian now for this subject and then we'll get back to you and let you know what the following subject is. Okay, hi. Brian. We're back on line. Imagine, can you pass me the question because I don't remember it. <laughs> Okay guys, we're going to go on to the next subject and the table is completely empty. So who would like to sit down at the table? Roll up, roll up. The kitchen table awaits your presence. <laughs> the kitchen table is calling you. <laughs> if you haven't sat there yet, try it out. It's like a hot tub. You get in and it's a little bit hard at first and then you start to relax into it. Yeah. Are we getting any Twitters? Yeah, would you like to read out some of the comments, Michael, while we're waiting? OK, well, we're, get, we're getting lots of I'd like to say hello around the world from um, the kitchen table out here in the assembly rooms in Glastonbury. But um, as Brian's just given over uh, the microphone to me and asked me about um, some of the tweets and Twitters that we're getting in. Tweets, we, we need to know more and more from you. If you just go on to um, www.twitter.com forward slash at the kitchen table, then you can send your things over. We've got uh, Julie. Uh, Welch here, the one with the red flower in her hair. Uh, I don't know what she means by that. Um, some people have come over and said that the microphone was a little too loud when Brian was first on there, but that's definitely uh, hopefully changed now a little bit for you. Um, we've got, in case people have problems with the kitchen table.tv, you may be able to follow. This is an important link for you. If you do find sort of stuttering or um, buffering, to go to www. Ustream, that's Uniform, Sierra, Tango, Romeo, Echo, Alpha, Mike, Ustream.tv forward slash channel, that's Charlie Hotel, Alpha, November, November, Echo, Lima, forward slash the, the then a middle hyphen, kitchen, middle hyphen, tables, with an S on it, with another middle hyphen, and show, the word show, S-H-O-W. That'll get you there. I know that Pip Reynolds is, is listening in California and San Francisco. Hopefully we'll have Jeannie Blackout in Los Angeles. I'm handing you back now to Brian. Thank you very much. That's Michael from In Touch Radio, reading a little bit from the Twitter feeds that we've been getting. Okay, so um, the table is here. Anyone like to sit down? We're about to get started again. <laughs> okay, the next question. The next subject that we're going to discuss is how can we create an ongoing medium slash dynamic where shy, wise people can share their thoughts? The people that, are not, that maybe can't get on the global stage and say, I know what's going on and I know the solution. But the shy people, the ordinary people. Yeah. So who would like to take that one up? A global platform. Loud. A global platform where shy, wise people can have their ideas heard. Am yeah. I not sitting here right now? <laughs> Isn't this it? <laughs> I mean, I see this as being a perfect global platform for people just to step up and have a cup of tea and have a chat with each other. I mean, uh, that was the idea behind the kitchen table in the first place, was to create exactly that medium. But I, I think that um, this is the whole beauty of the internet, is it not? Is that we've all created uh, um, uh, the or the openings have opened for everybody to be able to have their very wise voices heard. It is just a question of the wheat from the chaff, though, because everybody who is one man's wise man is another man's fool, I think someone once said. Or was that me? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but it is that. I mean, you know, you can have your voice heard on the internet. Anybody can have their voice heard on the internet. Anybody can put a, uh, a website up. And so um, it's just a question of uh, driving driving audience, I guess, to your website. Something that Positive TV is trying to do with lots of, obviously. But um, this is it. This is the medium. Internet, surely that's the answer. 
Anybody else have any views? Well, I think that's, that's the beauty of the internet, is that you can anonymously have your voice heard, and you can choose which forum to interact with. You can choose where to have your voice made present. I mean, shy people have got just as much of a right to put their voice forwards. And, you know, actually, there's not many people that get up on stage and say what they believe in, you know, in this world. It's very, very few. So I think, you know, the, the solution is already in place. And it's not about being shy. It's about actually taking action. So if you've got an opinion, in order for it to be heard, you have to state it. It's no good keeping it inside. The, 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 that's not shyness, that's inaction. That's ineptitude, you know. If, if you haven't got anything to say, don't say it. If you've got something to say, choose the medium through which you're comfortable. And there's every, every, everything's available. Yeah, um, I've been quite shy myself, actually. But um, recently, I mean, with the personal growth thing, living in Glastonbury, you know, I've uh, <laughs> learned not to be shy, and here I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Sunbird said was quite um, important actually. I think if you have got something to say, then you have to find a way to, to say it really. You have to kind of look inside of yourself and find a way through art, music, film. You don't have to be the face in front of what you're saying. You can just put something out there that is powerful. And I think finding a way that is really powerful, that feels powerful to you, that feels creative to you, and that is putting across a message. I think there's, there's quite a few ways, actually. And I think even well before the internet, which we're lucky to have these days, which does give so many people a voice, we had, you know, so many things. I mean, the cave paintings in the south of France are still so profound today. They still speak a message, and I think yeah, we've got to search inside of ourselves and find that inner voice, whether we're shy or not. <laughs> well, I'm one of the shy ones. <laughs> and yet you're but, at this table. But I happen to be here, sort of. Uh, well, here I am. Um, and uh, I was thinking, actually, on the subject of general debate, that uh, I find that... Um, in most uh, discussions with topics of perceived general interest, most people regurgitate other people's views. Um, and uh, one ends up with a whole table full of views which have no relationship to the people expanding them at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I've often thought that the wisest course might be just to hold one's peace. But um, and then certainly the, the, the main issues of the day quite often are so complex and so surrounded by vested interests that it's extremely difficult to ascertain what the situation is, let alone what view you might have on it. And I think that does create a problem. And I think the vested interest situation is one of the, I would say, actually one of the most difficult situations that exist today. Yeah. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I actually, with a, a friend over there, it came up with this question. Um, okay, because we have very short time. Uh, my mum did an amazing thing. She jumped out of an airplane uh, and did some para painting, para shooting thing. Uh, and she's afraid of heights. And she's 70 odd something. All right. So she, she did this amazing thing. And then I wanted her to kind of like because my family's kind of got used to it or something. She's not the kind, you know, she doesn't stand up on stage. She doesn't really talk. Her father kind of talked a lot, kind of like me. Uh, but when we were at a dinner table and just asking her to talk in front of the family at a kitchen table, she, she wouldn't do it. Okay. And then when I kind of tried to encourage her to do this, she wouldn't step forwards to the point that my family thought I was bullying her. But to effectively to bring out her internal experience of what she'd done. Because I feel that we don't really have the system. So this, this thing is pointing at me. I'm not talking to this microphone. What the hell, why, why am I, so, so this technology is biased. So although this is a kitchen table simulation, 
I think we have to be kind of like clever about creating the conditions so that we can actually hear. I, I thought what you just said just now was superb. No, I would pass the microphone back to you. That's what I'd do. Uh, so I think I've gone over a minute, but yeah, yeah, well, does that I'd strike a... Um, I can understand that because my daughter is in, in well she's got just got the lead role in Sweet Charity in the theatre and um, but in real life I mean she's too shy to go down the, to the corner shop and talk to the people behind the counter and and she you know she's very shy she stays in her room if I have friends around she's a bit shy to talk to them but and yet when she's on stage she's really you know very so there's something going on with I've heard that a lot of creative people can be really shy and so I don't know quite, I haven't really analysed that area really, why that is, but um, I'd be interested if anyone knows why that is, actually. There was, um, I think it, I don't know whether it was in the paper or on TV recently, but I think it was in the paper, actually. There was something saying about how very creative, genius people are quite often mad as well. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that kind of reclusive thing about people who are shy but there's also something really great in them that can shine out and give a message outward so it's probably that could be something that's insanity. part of it yeah <laughs> slight insanity let our insanity become sanity in a good way you know what is sanity <laughs> back with the kitchen table really <laughs> really <laughs> open to can of worms now <laughs> world I mean I think that's a really difficult um, thing to define I mean I always look at people like Stephen Fry who is just I think an incredible human being and very talented very creative an extraordinary intelligent man who suffers I believe from bipolar disorder you know he's mad or whatever what does mad mean you know just <laughs> I'm mad. I think we're all bloody mad. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know. I, that just that presses some really weird buttons for me. But I just wanted to say something um, back to what um, Nicholas said a little earlier about people um, being shy and not being able to speak at a table. Um, well, yeah, there are a lot of people who are very shy or, but have something to say but you, you did say something along the lines of if, you're, um, if you haven't got anything... No, it was you, Sunbird. If you haven't got anything to say, then don't say it. If you've got something to say, then you've got to find a way to say it. But I'm, I'm concerned with how we facilitate people to say what they want to say. I mean, the Internet's all well and good, but the Internet is so massive and it's so diverse and it's so spread out and it's so... You don't know if anybody's hearing what you've got to say on the internet. I think we've got to be a little bit more personal about it than that. I think we have to kind of help people to find their voice. And, and that would be um, probably much more productive as well and much more directed. Yeah, the internet's cool, but the internet is just massive. It's just, you know, it's just, there's so much stuff out there. You just, you get bogged down in it, you know? So um, I would like to think that we can help people find their voice by being compassionate, by really listening. A lot of us hear stuff. Hi, Louis. A lot of us hear stuff, but we don't really listen. You know, it's, it's the listening that's important. So helping somebody to speak often is linked to the fact that maybe they haven't been listened to. So let's try and be more aware of how we actually pick up what other people say. Uh, I, I'm quite shy, actually. People don't believe me when I say I'm shy. But I had a really good teacher about being shy. It was a woman that I dated years ago. <coughs> who um, Her name is Rainbow Dancer. She might be out there listening. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I said, she, uh, you know, I said, oh, I'm really shy. You know, I used to wear, I never wear colours, and I would have been, couldn't dance, and 
you know, always, I, I'd wait for hours before I get up in a room in case anyone noticed me walk across it. <laughs> you know, so I told her I was shy, and she said, yeah, I'm shy too. And I said, don't be silly, you're not shy, you're just like all over the place. She said, no, she said, I just learned how to jump. You know, to just jump. The art of jumping, you know. Fear has no hold on us when we jump. You know, it's quite interesting to see that some people can jump out of an airplane but would be afraid <laughs> to come to the kitchen table and talk to the world, you know. Um, so I think we're going to move on to the next subject, yeah? And what we'll do is we'll pick the subject out now and, and then Natalie can talk about it over the, um, over the internet and then we'll go just kind of take a breather. And uh, who would like to pick the next subject out of the box? da 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 <laughs> This is theatrical, you see. This is where theatre and discussion are merged. The winner is... <laughs> and the winner is... It's supposed to be a golden envelope, isn't it? <laughs> it's a silver-lined box. I wish I could read the writing. Where <laughs> would, will, the, be... Oh, my... Where will we be in ten years? Twenty years from now. Where will we be in 10, 20, 50 years from now, given our current thinking patterns and Western mind control? Did you get that? Where will we be in 10, 20, 50 years from now, given our current thinking patterns and Western mind control? Okay, thank you. And uh, over to Natalie, who will now take you through the next stage. Great, welcome back. So we're here at the kitchen table debate in Glastonbury in the assembly rooms here. Um, it's a joint partnership, a sort of an experimental live discussion between Gung Ho Media, Positive TV, have come together to create this event here today on Easter Sunday. So happy Easter. And as you can see, we've, we're on about, we've had about the third or fourth discussion now. The last one was um, how can we create an ongoing medium in which wise, shy people can, can express themselves and be heard? Well, a lot of people were commenting on how the internet is a great way to do that. It, for example, what we're doing here around the kitchen table event. Um, so creating a platform on which people can express their views. Um, and forums as well on the internet was something that was mentioned. We had a good tweet here from... Uh, uh, somebody called Tricky456, hi Tricky, um, saying, I used to be shy, but I'm not now. Um, shyness can be overcome, which is a great point. So if you do feel that you've got something to say and that you're passionate about something, then, and you're, but yet your shyness holds you back, then, then that in itself can be the catalyst for you. That's how you can be the change you want to see in the world, by actually overcoming your shyness. So thanks for that, Tricky. Um, so the next subject that we've got coming up um, is... So this is what they were saying about the, hard, the difficult handwriting to read. Um, where could we be in 10, 20, 40 years from now, um, given our current thinking patterns and Western mind control? So that's going to be an interesting debate. So if you want to get involved, we really love to hear from you. I think there's a couple of hundred of you viewing at the moment. So it would be great. Um, you can send us a Twitter, which is at Kitchen Table TV. So if you're on the website now, watching this as a stream, you can see the, the, um, you can see that all the, all the contact details are on there. So we've got um, at Kitchen Table TV. So we think we have got a few more tweets in here. So we've been hearing from a few of you letting us know how the technical things are going, which is very helpful. Thanks for that. Um, and we've also been hearing uh, from, um, as I said earlier, Misty Moon. But at the moment, that's about it for now. <laughs>